Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. So our memory hook for Staph saprophyticus will be the Greek mythologic figure Sapphus. And I don't know a whole lot about Greek mythology, but I do know that Sapphus is a woman, and women get UTIs, and uh, women also have a vaginal flora, and that flora is florid with Staph saprophyticus. So when you think Staph saprophyticus, think of women's genital tracts. So here we have Sapphus, and notice that the background of this, as well as her weapon, are a nice bluish purple color. Purple being our symbol for gram positive. So Staph saprophyticus, like all staff, gram positive. She is trying to defend her friend the merboy, which I guess is a male version of a mermaid, and she's using this weapon, and this weapon is also purple for gram positive. And this isn't just any old weapon, it's a weapon that is emanating gas. And this gas is ammonia gas. And remember that ammonia is the byproduct of urea when catalyzed by urease. So Staph saprophyticus is urease positive. Notice also that to protect herself from whatever deadly creatures she encounters on the way to protect Merboy, that she has armor on. And this armor is her way of protecting herself against deadly things like novobiosin. And novobiosin is uh, what Staph saprophyticus is resistant to, and that puts it in contrast to Staph epidermidis, which is novobiosin sensitive. Remember that your mnemonic, no stress, S-R-E-S, -E Staph saprophyticus is resistant, Staph epidermidis is sensitive. And then finally, Sapphus in this picture is yellow. Notice all the prominent yellow colors here. She's yellow because she's full of pee, and that is because Staph saprophyticus is the number two cause of urinary tract infections in women. So Staph saprophyticus, gram positive, urease positive, novobiosin resistant, and the number two cause of urinary tract infection. Remember that the treatment, I don't have it listed on here, but the treatment for Staph saprophyticus is trimethoprim sulfa methoxazole, and sulfa is yellow, sulfur is yellow rather, and so remember that trimethoprim sulfa methoxazole is the treatment for staph saprophyticus infections.